In 2018, OSHA reported more than 5,000 employees were killed in a work-related injury. The rate of non-fatal injuries and illness in 2018 was 2.8 per every 100 workers. If you are a loved one or the victims of a workplace injury, you need a reliable workers' compensation lawyer. Keep watching to find out what you'll want to ask at your upcoming consultation so you can find the best possible choice. Is it viable? Not every workers' comp case will require legal assistance. In some cases, there's nothing for a workers' compensation lawyer to do. If you filed your claim and it was accepted without issue, hiring a lawyer is unnecessary. A good lawyer will tell you this. On the other hand, you'll need an attorney if your claim was denied or kept stalling. What about payment? Personal injury lawyers generally don't require an upfront payment. Instead, they often work for a portion of your settlement. If you don't win your case, the lawyer may not get paid. When dealing with a workers' comp claim that could be damaging your finances already, you need to be sure of the costs. Each attorney and law firm is different. Not only should you inquire about how payment will be made, but how much will be required. What's your experience? Make sure you ask specifically about personal injury or workers' compensation. It's always possible an attorney started in a different field and that experience may not be entirely relevant. If your claim is simple, being appointed a newer associate may not be a problem. However, if you have a complicated claim, you'll wanna look for someone with a lot of experience. How's your record? The success rate of an individual attorney or a law firm as a whole can help you determine how good they are at what they do. The success rate represents the percentage of claims that were paid versus the total number represented. The higher this number is, the better. The attorney you meet with should know the success rate and be willing to share. If they either say they don't know or refuse to share with you, this should be a red flag. Choose other representation because transparency is essential. Should I work? If you've been honest with your doctor about the extent of your injuries and they agree you can return for light duty, you should try to. But remember, you don't wanna make your injury worse. You should only resume the types of work-related duties your doctor believes you are ready for. Your place of employment is required by law to reasonably accommodate your restrictions when returning to work. If they refuse to, it's essential to speak with an attorney right away. Should I sue? If you were injured because of an employer's negligence, the idea of suing them is tempting. However, it's essential to understand filing a workers' comp case waives your right to sue. Filing a claim means you're already on the way to receiving compensation for your injury and work time lost. If the injury occurred because your employer violated your workers' rights as regulated by OSHA, the job could face hefty fines. Speak with an attorney about the ways you believe your workers' rights were violated. An attorney can advise you on how to report the issue to the proper authority. Do you still have questions about hiring a workers' compensation lawyer? Or would you like to speak to one of our associates about your workers' comp case? Contact us today and let us help. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.